Isolated and remote, the people of northern Zambia are amongst the poorest in the world. Poverty is extreme. Most households struggle to grow enough. Many people leave the area to work as hired hands, paid in food. For five years, Self-Help Africa and Irish Aid have been working to change that. Together, we have helped communities to increase food production, raise incomes, and improve health and living conditions. Farmers have more livestock and better harvests. Village-based enterprise groups have been formed and households are beginning to accumulate savings. Farming methods have improved and families have been educated about better nutrition. As a result, high levels of severe childhood malnourishment have been reduced. Living conditions have improved. Women have stepped from the shadows and are playing a more active role in local life. Up to 80,000 people have benefited from this work. Let's look at how it is impacting on the lives of just a few of them in two villages. Meet Rosemary Chate, a mother of seven from Malela village. Stephen Linga is a schoolboy with dreams for the future. If I were a coffee pump, somebody help us school. If I look somebody up with you, and that I've come and said, Ben, go a person will come with a date. Daddy, they have goes a swift home for help somebody as a young country and look shabby each day. Sydney Kalote owns a small farm in Nsunda village. In a mile feed, young Sen Miaka drove Najendirako, Natan Puli, Kunda Ishen Twali. Felister Namfakwe supports her young family on a small farm. The people of Nsunda and Malela villages have two connections to Ireland. The first is that they were locked into a cycle of poverty that was endemic across Ireland 150 years ago. The second is that because of Irish support, they may now escape that trap. Development works. Many challenges remain, but the lives of the people of Malela and Nsunda are changing for the better. <laughs>